enjoyed your long uh, weekend. A uh, couple of things uh, for you today. Go over uh, what we talked about last week and what you needed to get done. Uh, big thing was the production possibilities curve. That was the biggest uh, idea that we tackled last week. So I'm going to go over that. There's three areas in that production possibilities curve that you need to know. Um, basically, future, right, production, underutilization, and then the frontier. The frontier is where you're using all of your resources in a society. So I'll review that with you. Um, also take a look at your modules and your assignments. Everything is still open. So even what we did the first week of school, August 17th, those two assignments are still open the 24th. Those assignments are still open. Last week's um, August 31st assignments are still open. Uh, everything is open, I think, at least until uh, this afternoon at 3.15 or Friday at 3.15. We will uh, review the entire first unit together. We'll play a review game together. Uh, I think there's about 25 questions on the review game, 25 of those uh, uh, the 25 questions that we go over out of the uh, unit test that you take, there'll be 40 questions. Those 25 are on there in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so it'll be good to go over that. I'll show you how you access your assessment. As I alluded to last week, your assessment, uh, when you open that tab, that's it. You want to keep it open. Don't close it. Don't uh, minimize it. Don't open another tab. It'll lock you out and your school will be set. So make sure that everything's charged and ready to go. So a couple of things, as I said, if you click on the assignments tab, uh, you'll see that everything is available still. Um, this I'll open up here at the end of the review. Uh, these two items here on Admentum are still ready and available. And then if you uh, are at your homepage, you go to student view here, Right, economic systems is still available. Scarcity opportunity costs still available. Market economies are still available. And if you click on your learning modules and go down to week four, that's where we're at. Uh, week four is available, all right, for you. So um, we will uh, go over everything that we've talked about in the first unit. I'll review with you real quick the production possibilities curve. Uh, we'll play the review game together. You take any questions that you have. Um, there is a review of the first unit. We saw part of that, but if you want to watch it again, I posted it up there uh, on your canvas for you, and then you'll take the assessment. So this will be for the review game. We'll get to that uh, in a minute after I go over production possibilities curve. We saw uh, this video, but again, if you want to uh, look at that, you can. Um, but let me first bring up the uh, production possibilities curve. And basically, um, it was this debate that started during the Eisenhower administration in the 50s about where do we want to spend our resources, right? Where do we want to spend our resources? And so what was looked at was basically a comparative note, right? And so if you broke this down in its simplest form, domestic issues, um, are we going to spend on basically things for society or things for our society's defense? With uh, discussion and the debate that was called uh, guns versus butter. And so what you had was the creation of a production possibilities curve. And so there were three areas. As I said, you'll need to know uh, these three areas. <clears throat> but area one, area one is going to be uh, in this area here. As we had talked about, it is the area of underutilization. The curve represented by BDC is the frontier. X is future possibilities, future production possibility. You need an increase in population, an increase in resources, or increase in technological advances. That's the only way that you're going to get to that moment there. All right, so first area is under utilization. Second is your frontier. That's your production possibilities frontier. And then your production possibilities growth or future production possibilities is anywhere outside. 
So on the inside portion here, is that uh, equal to less than or more than 100%? The point represented by A there. Anyone can answer that. Your area inside the frontier, equal to less than or more than 100%. Tate, what do you have for that? Equal to 100, less than 100, or more than 100? Well, I, what, what are we looking at? I don't know what I'm like supposed to be looking. Production possibilities curve, point A, right here, inside the curve. Is that equal to, less than, or greater than 100%? Um, less than? Less than is right. Very good. No, I don't think so. All right. Uh, Cole, what is the curve represented by BDC, the frontier, equal to, less than, or greater than 100%? Yeah, you could tell that um, when you get there, where you get down, like you want to tell them that, like in this part here, it's not a good thing to take it back. Cole, still with us? Cole, the blue curve right here, equal to 100, less than 100, or greater than 100? Cole, you're not with us? Are, what, are you in the book? Am I in the book? Yeah, like, are, are, is the, what you're talking about in the book? Uh, I do not know, but this is the big thing that we covered from last week. Is, are we, is it from the homework? No, it's from last week's uh, class meeting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Aries, we'll go with you. The curve BDC, the blue purple line right there, equal to 100, less than 100, or greater than 100? Is it less than 100? That's what I put. I put less than 100. It's equal to. So anywhere inside the curve is less than 100. The curve itself is equal to 100. And then, uh, David, what would point X represent? <clears throat> More. More, yep, greater than 100. So you'll need to know those three areas. Um, let me bring up it up in word it would probably be either uh better that way i think i can write on it so this was the big idea from last week's uh class period your production possibilities curve just illustrates where a country decides to utilize their resources and there's three areas so area one is an underutilization marked by point X, even though it could be anywhere in this area, okay? So it could be anywhere in this area right here. Right. Are we supposed to be seeing something on your screen? Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Uh, it's stuck on the presentation Kahoot review game. Oh boy. All right, let me try again. What about now? Yeah, finally. Perfect. Okay. So this area here, okay, anywhere in here, 
represented by point A is always going to be an area of underutilization. And so that point A is always going to be equal to, okay, the area represented by point A is always going to be less than 100. So that is the first area there. So the area represented by point A is always going to be less than 100% of a resource, society's resources being used. All right. So second area is the curve represented by B, D, C. And that is always going to be equal to 100%. That's known as your frontier, production possibilities frontier. And then your area represented by point X is always going to be greater than 100% of a country's production possibilities with the resources that they have. Now, as I said, the only way to get two point X anywhere outside of that is you need an increase in resources, you need an increase in population, right? More workers to do the job, or you need an increase in technology, something that makes it more efficient for you. So those are the only ways that you can get two point X out here. All right, that's the only way that you can get past this curve is to have an increase in resources, increase in population, or an increase in technologies. Any questions there? Okay, um, so let me <clears throat> open this part here. Why it says stop, but let me open it back up. Um, so a couple of things, going back to your assignments, there's been a number of issues, but if you notice, um, these here, right, are things that we did the first week. Those are still available. Uh, these items here are still available to you. Scarcity and opportunity cost, economic systems as well are still available. So everything that we have is still open for you uh, to turn in if you have not. Uh, generally, once you turn it in, especially if it is outside of Canvas, something that we do in Formative or something that we do in Plato, it's going to take 24 hours to uh, update through there. So if you have any questions about any of these, you can hang on uh, until the end. Um, what you need to do is open another um, tab or another uh, browser or tab in your browser and we'll go over the uh, Kahoot together. Now I'm gonna send you the um, address. Stop it just for a second. I'll send you the address and the game pin in the chat room. Okay, so you're going to go to kahootit.it. Game pin is 143-2164. It'll ask you for a name, and that'll let you join. So I'll bring that up. So you can see there, if you go to kahoot.it, put in the game pin 1432164, you can join the review game. We'll start reviewing for your units.
We've got two more to log in. Yeah, so like, like a bold statement to just start the essay. Six. Yeah. Seven, this is one. So Manny, David. Okay, so Kahoot.it, you should be able to click on that tab and still hear me talk, but we'll start so we can get through this. So Kahoot.it, if you put in that game pen, it's in the chat. I'll put it in the chat again. You'll be able to join. As I said, there's 40 questions on your unit one assessment. All 25 of these that we go over right now are going to be on your test. And we'll go ahead and get started. All right, what is a tangible product? What is a tangible product? Right. Tangible product is a good. Tangible product is a good, something that you could hold. Remember we talked about the difference between a good and a service. A good is something you could hold, physically touch. A service would be something like an electrician does for you, uh, something you get done at the salon, something you get done at the barber shop. Ooh, look at that. Got some leaders. All right, question two. What is required for survival? A need, perfect. A need is a necessity, absolutely have to have it. Ooh, look at that. All right, a plumber provides what? Good, plumber provides a service. 
Plumber provides a service. That Tate with three in a row. All right, a luxury car is an example of what? Yes, luxury car would be a want, it would not be a need. All goods, products, and resources are scarce. Is that true or false? That is true. Every resource on earth is scarce. So it doesn't matter if I say there's an overabundance. It doesn't matter if I say there's too much. Everything is scarce. Everything has a quantifiable number or an end to it. Okay, the most valuable good or service given up in an economic decision is known as what? What you give up. What you give up is an opportunity cost. When you make an economic decision, right? You have $5 for lunch. You're gonna to go to McDonald's or Subway. If you choose Subway, your cost was McDonald's. It's what you gave up. All right, the good or service obtained through an economic decision. Opportunity benefit, good. What you gain in a decision is your benefit. So if we use the example of lunch there again, $5, you choose a McDonald's or Subway. If you chose Subway, that would be your benefit. If you did not choose a McDonald's, that would be your cost. All right, another alternative given up in an economic decision is known as what? A good trade-off, right? Another alternative given up in an economic decision is a trade-off. The most valuable thing you give up is opportunity cost. Something else you could have had, another alternative would be a trade-off. All right, man-made decisions can cause what in the market? Man-made decisions can cause what in the market? Shortage, right? Man-made decisions can cause a shortage in the market. Look at that, Antonio, three in a row. All right, entrepreneurs take the greatest risk in a market economy by producing the goods. Is that true or false? That is true. Entrepreneurs take the greatest risk. Okay, if water is used in a chemical reaction for a product, it could be described as a natural what?
natural resource, right? Anything coming from the earth would be a natural resource. Four uh, factors of production again, right? Land, labor, water, entrepreneurship, or business knowledge. All right, timber would be what type of factor of production? Timber. Timber would be an example of land, right? You get lumber from that. All right, money used to produce a good or service is what type of factor of production? Capital. Right? Money, finished goods or services used in the production of another good or service is capital. All right, workers in a factory or what type of factor of production? Workers in a factory. That's right, labor. Very good. There's only one type of capital, physical. Is that true or false? False, false. Physical is one type of capital, but it's not the only one. All right, a decision matrix should be used for small and large decisions. false right decision matrix should only be used for large decisions where you write down pros and cons how much different options would cost all right the choice in a decision matrix are alternatives That is true, right? <clears throat> when you make a decision, say like what to, where to go for lunch, Subway, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, what have you, the choices that you have are alternatives, right? One's an alternative to another. A decision matrix should be used for blank purchases. Large, right? Large purchases always. The categories in the decision matrix are called Okay, your criteria, how you base your decision, right? How you base your decision would be criteria. All right, consumers and businesses both use decision matrices to make large decisions.
That is true. All right, the line on a production possibilities curve that shows maximum use of resources. Frontier, right? At 100%, that line curve BDC, right, that we talked about here, that's 100%. 100%. Any production inside the possibility, so represented by point A, point A that we had just gone over. Underutilization, good. Less than 100% underutilization. A country's allocation of resources for production is known as blank versus blank. The debate from the Eisenhower era. Guns versus butter, good. Okay, how well resources are being used can be described as what? How well they're being used. Efficiency, how efficient? And last one here, any production outside of possibilities curve is equal to what? This would be point X that we just went over. More than 100% is correct. All right. Awesome. There you go. There's your leaderboard. Okay, um, so a couple of things here that I want to get to and make sure you understand before we let you go. Let me get into the module. Okay, so your let's move up just a little bit, share my screen with you. So your module this week, all right, is week four. Inside week four, right, we did the Kahoot, we reviewed the production possibilities curve. There's a video. Um, if you want to uh, review, you can watch that. If you want to go over this review game again, it is open to you. So if you clicked on this link, this will take you to the challenge, and then that's the game pin, and you can practice as many times as you want. Uh, out of the 40 questions, out of the 40 questions, um, those 25 you'll see on the test.
This here is the unit review, and you can watch that video if you want. And then here is your link to your first test, and that's open. So it's an online assessment, right, that you would have taken if you were here in person, but I'm able to put up the PDF of the test, and then there's an answer sheet you'll just fill in online. You'll submit that. You want to make sure that your device, whatever you have, is fully charged, fully updated, and ready. If you close out of a tab, minimize out of a tab, what have you, your test ends and you're, you're stuck with what you have. So make sure that you've got uh, plenty of time and no disruptions. Your username, when you get to that site, your username is going to be your six digit student ID number. Not your email address, just your six digit ID number. So if you click on this, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Your username is gonna be your six digit code, right? So your six digit student ID number. Your password is gonna be your tablet password, right? The same thing you use for your network to get in when you're at school, all right? Your test will lock if you open any other tabs, minimize your tab, open another tab after you access the test, it's gonna shut down. There's 40 questions on the assessment. Uh, it is open, I believe, until uh, the 11th. Let me check. Or maybe longer. No, it's uh, open until the 18th. It's due on the 14th. All right, so it's due next um, Monday by 3.15, but it's open until the 18th at 3.15. Um, but as I said, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, there'll be a PDF of the questions that you'll have on one side, and there'll be an answer sheet, um, and you'll just click on the correct answer on the right-hand side and then hit submit. So um, six-digit ID number is what is going to go here. Your network password, your tablet password should be the same, is going to go right there. Right, and you'll log in and you can access that. So it's all from there. Does anybody have any questions on that? Okay. So as I said, if you want, all right, if you want, you can watch this video, which goes over everything we talked about in unit one. You can play the review game as many times as you want. Right, you have the notes, um, you have your class materials, you have the videos that you can use and write down uh, and use on the exam, but you wanna make sure that you take the assessment by next Monday. All other assignments are open until at least the 11th, right? So it'll say available until September 11th, available till the 11th, available till the 8th. Um, you wanna make sure that those things get done um, if you have any questions or need any help, you can stay on. If you're good to go, um, as I said, once you start the test, that's it. Don't do anything else. Don't open anything else. Um, and you should be set, but it should be pretty easy. Six-digit ID is your username, tablet, or network password. Gets you your password on School City, and you'll be set. 